What's up everybody? It's Kelsey Brown and Jane here with another makeup tutorial. This is the look that I came up with. It is a fall makeup tutorial. I wore this look out uh, maybe last weekend when I was out with my girls and like everybody was giving me compliments. So I was like, okay. So that is clearly a sign that I need to do a tutorial on this look. So hopefully you all like it as much as everybody else did because I certainly do. It is very fall ish you know what i mean like now it is a big trend with the darker lips and the neutral ish eyes so that is what i created for you all today so if you want to see how to get this look stay tuned and i will show you so since i'm going to do my entire face on camera i want to make this video as short and sweet as possible so first conceal underneath your eyes and i'm using revlon's deep which is a uh, nine no, it's zero, zero, 006. Then I'm going to use my ring finger because it has the lightest pressure point to blend that out. Okay, so next. Moving on to eyeshadow. Of course, prime your lids. Urban Decay Primer Potion. So next, take any neutrals that you want to use. And for neutrals, my go-to is, of course, the Naked palette. And I'm going to take the color Naked, which is the third color in the palette. And my 239 flat shader brush. And I'm just going to rub that all over my entire eyelid. No, uh, nothing else. I don't need anything else. Very simple. So next, I'm going to take a blending large fluffy brush, and this is Max 226 brush. And also in the Naked palette, I'm going to go a couple of shades over and use Buck, and that's this color right here. It is a matte skin tone brown, very neutral, and I'm going to apply this into the crease very lightly. Continue to blend it out. Same thing on the other eye. So after you're done applying the darker color to the outer corner, whichever brown that you want to use, Line a thick line of liquid eyeliner and this is going to add a little bit more drama to the eyes since the eyes are very, very plain. Okay. So you see how I did that very head eye-ish, very, very thick at the bottom, at the end. The tail, I guess. Tail. Okay, so that is that. So now we are done with the eyes. And if you're wondering, I am ambidextrous, which means I can do everything with both of my hands. So that is why I'm able to line with my left hand and my right hand and do makeup and switch it up. So next we are going to move on to the fun part, the lips. So before you put on any lipstick that is matte you want to make sure that you have moisturized your lips and i used an eos lip balm and i used the red one it doesn't say the flavor so i guess i'm just gonna call it the wild strawberry one i don't know <laughs> so before you apply it though make sure you wipe it off because it can be greasy and i don't like the way it feels to have grease and lipstick on at the same time so in order to st uh, set the foundation for the lipstick I'm going to use a lip pencil and the lip pencil that I'm going to use is called Night Moth and this is by MAC 
Night's Moth. Okay? So basically you just want to line your lips with this. Now what I do when I'm done lining my lips, I go ahead and blend it out with my fingers. Yeah. If I was doing makeup on someone else, I would more than likely use like a lip brush. So as you can see, this is a very deep, dark lip liner. It turns any lip very vampy because the lipstick that I'm about to apply over it is not even this dark okay so next I'm going to use another MAC product and this is a lipstick it is a matte and the color is diva this is it right here it is a reddish color but I wouldn't classify it as all the way red as it is like maybe like a darker red almost burgundy almost something and that is what I'm going to apply with this lip liner. And okay, so these are the lips. Sexy, right? And when I say everybody complimented me on this look, like everybody. It was like crazy. Like I was like, okay. <laughs> you know, so I was like, okay. Everybody loves it. I have to do a tutorial for it. That's just it. And this is it right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cheek color. I'm going to use the same look that I had that I was getting like tons of compliments on. And mind you, I already have on my foundation, which is the Lancome um, Dual Finish Powder. And the blush I'm going to wear is L'Oreal's True Match Sweet Ginger. It kind of reminds me of Max Gingerly, which is my favorite. And this is what I had on, girl. And this is what I wore. If this is a little bit too matte or too dark for you, feel free to like put on like a little bit of lip gloss or something like that because that will definitely help like maybe soften the look up if this is just a little too much. Or you can always just skip the lip liner and just put on the lipstick which is pretty dark but it's not as dark as what's on my lips. Okay. So uh, I hope that you all enjoy the rest of October. I'm sure I will make more videos. But until next time, smooches.